What can you expect at most Christian church services regarding direct readings from the Bible? There will usually be readings from two sections of the New Testament, one from the Gospels and one from the letters or what we call the epistles. There is a difference between the Gospels and epistles. Well, both are from the New Testament and they both record the ministry of Christ's life on earth. The Gospels give us the detailed account of Jesus' birth, his life and ministry, his teachings, the miracles and healings, his persecution and passion, his resurrection, the gift of the Holy Spirit, and the formation of the early church. Gospel readings are read first in liturgical services. They are taken exclusively from the first four books of the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Gospel readings are direct accounts of the life of Jesus Christ, as revealed to the three apostles while St. Luke's account was taken directly from eyewitnesses. Luke was a physician and is often referred to as the evangelist. A priest, preacher, minister, reverend or pastor will read these scriptures to the congregation. Whereas epistle readings can be read by a layperson, and often are. Epistles are letters written by the authors of the New Testament, such as Paul, Peter, John, and Jude. They were written to churches and individuals in order to provide instruction, encouragement, and warnings. These letters were written in order to foster faith, to teach them about Jesus, and provide guidance on how to live a Christian life. The epistles of Paul are the best known examples of this type of writing. In addition to providing instruction on how to live a Christian life, these epistles also contain stories about Jesus Christ's life and teachings. The epistles are found in the books of the Bible, which include Acts, Romans, Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, Thessalonians, Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, James, Peter, John, Jude, and Revelation. Depending on the service or denomination of the church, there may be more than one reading from the Gospels or Epistles. For more amazing videos and prayers, please like, share, and subscribe today. Have a blessed week.